what is up guys epileptic raver here uh, today we're going to be taking a look at logic gates and how they all work uh, hopefully i'm not too terribly confusing and this all makes sense let's get going all right guys first thing is first we'll start with the and gate fairly simple uh, it only works if all of its inputs have power so we got that switch and we have that switch doesn't matter if it's one two three four as long as they're all on they're going to work so we'll take the output to the door the door is just the easiest uh, thing for demonstration purposes so we exit the workshop mode and you can see if you flip the one switch door still doesn't open only opens if all the switches are on no matter what and uh yeah that's that's really it for the end gate all right guys next one is the nand gate place that guy down there and again attach both switches i don't want those to be on to begin with connect both switches to the input And then, of course, the output to your door or whatever it is that you're trying to power. And as you can see, 0, 0, 1, both switches are off, power door is off. Now it's only going to work if one of these is on. Or it only works if not all of them are on. So if you have three, you can have two of them on, and it will still work. But if you go and flip all of them on, all of a sudden then it turns off. And there you go. All right, guys, here's where it gets a little trickier. Uh, we're going to go back into our logic gates, and we are going to do NOR gate. Uh, the NOR gate and the NOT gate are essentially exactly the same thing. They both transmit power when they have no power, but not really. So here's the thing. We got our NOR gate, but we cannot send power directly from a switch to the NOR gate and still have it work. So we need an AND gate to act as a relay between the switches and our NOR gate. We are also going to need another AND gate to act as a relay between uh, our uh, main power source and the NOR gate. So we are going to connect one of the outputs from this AND gate to our input. The input for the AND gate is going to our power source. Now we're going to go from both of our switches to this AND gate. Like that. And then the output to our NOR gate. As you can see now, this switch is on. Both these switches are off. That counts. Even though this is technically on, it's just providing power. So from the output, we can go to our door, and the door opens. Flip both switches on, even just one on. It's not going to work, not going to work. Flip them both off, and voila, open door. That took some, took some time figuring that out. So I'm sorry if that didn't make a whole lot of sense. I've read a whole lot about this online, and... Uh, this is the best way I could come up with to actually get the NOR and NOT gates to work. A lot of people were claiming that they were broken. And as I can see, they definitely don't work the way I typically would use a NOR gate. It does work. It just adds, you just got to add a couple of steps. But if this is what you want to do and you really want to use the NOR gate or the NOT gate, this is what you've got to do. Moving on. All right, next up is the OR logic gate. I'm going to smack that guy down there. Now, this one will transmit power if any of its inputs has power. So again, fairly simple. Get our little inputs in there and our output to our door. And then simply any switch will turn it on. It is, really so if any of them are on, it will work. And yeah, that's that's really that, that's it. You, again, are you, you are interrupting. Depart? You are interrupting. All right. Next up, we've got the XNOR gate. 
I'm going to plop that guy down there. Now this kind of works the same way as the not and nor gates work. So we're going to have to have another AND gate here, another AND gate here. We need to put both of our switches into the top AND gate. Or really, you know, obviously it doesn't really matter the placement. It's going to work either way. And then the output to the X NOR gate. And then this one's simply going to go to our power source to provide that constant stream of power. And from the output there, there. And then the output from our X NOR gate directly to our door. And the door opens, even though both of our switches are off. Now, all, all the switches have to be the same. Whether it's both on, both off, doesn't matter. So you can see now the different door is shut. Both powered, door opens. This I would see, or I assume would be handy for a two way door. Um, not a whole lot of other applications I can think of, but I'm still kind of getting used to having X or uh, logic gates in Fallout. So I will be surely coming up with something in the future but uh, this is how it works you can figure out what you want to do with it I'm not gonna tell you what to do moving on and one final thing in our logic gate list is the XOR gate transmits power if exactly one input has power I figured this demonstration would be a little bit uh, better with more than one switch here doesn't matter how many you use again. But we got this one. Come on now. Are you in the way? All right, hold on, guys. Get you out of the way there. I know, it's all sloppy. I don't care. Get all these guys into the input. And then we take our output. And now this is only going to work if only one of these has power. Still, still closed, still closed, open. Doesn't matter which one. They're all, of course, it's still going to be closed, but there you go. All right, guys, I do hope that helps clear up some of the confusion there is around logic gates. Not everyone quite understands them. And uh, there isn't a whole lot you can do still in Fallout apart from powering doors and um, conveyor belts, things like that. But I do plan on making an individual video for each logic gate and some practical uses on it. Hopefully some creative things. So uh, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you can catch those. You know, it's not, it doesn't take that much effort just to, just to click that little button. It's just one little button. The subscribe button. You want to click it? You know you want to click it. Yeah. All right, guys. But, you know, at least leave a like. Leave a comment if you think this helps. Please let me know because I do want to help you guys out. I really love Logic Gates. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know that. Um, but, yeah. Let me know if that was helpful, guys. Let me know if there's anything that I could have mentioned that I maybe didn't. And uh, catch you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.